Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hit the bell, subscribe. We have new content coming out daily. Make sure you subscribe. God bless you guys. Can you just give us a little insight? How successful has Sound of Freedom been in the last week and a half? Well, it could have been a lot bigger and I wanted it to be bigger, but uh, you guys in the news, the good news, um, and the people are the ones that are keeping this thing going. And I think the other side is, it, you know, we were, I, I was doing interviews for three weeks and nothing was even mentioned. They just ignored us the whole time. In fact, a friend of mine in Seattle said, I don't know if it was the Seattle PI, uh, I think it was, um, where they listed films that were opening up and we weren't even listed. And we were going to win the box office and we weren't even listed. So um, the there's a group of people that want to make sure that this uh, isn't around. I was talking about the media and they're ignoring the stories. I'll give you a perfect example. Um, on April 26, Ms. Ro Rodas uh, gave sworn testimony, and I've used this many times. 85,000 children um, have crossed the border and disappeared. Now, that's sworn testimony. That's also evidence that has been submitted. And um, Tim I talked to Tim and he says it's actually much bigger than this. But anyway, the next day, I see, I think that's newsworthy. And the next day in the news, nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, and so, but we've seen this over and over again in the media. You said ivermectin's bad. That's in, uh, listed under the NIH. Uh, hydroxychloroquine is bad for us. That's listed under the NIH. Adrenochrome, that's not true. It's C9H9NO3. This is a um, chemical compound that is absolutely, this has been around in modern science since the 1930s. You can actually, there's a synthetic form and there's a, a regular uh, 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 natural form, which is caused by torturing little kids to get their adrenaline up essentially, and then extracting it from them. Um, when you sit and meet, and, and so I brought this up a few years ago and all of a sudden I was attacked by every media, look it up. It's, it's there. They absolutely went after me. And the next day, um, I never heard from my agents, my agency for 14 months. Uh, my lawyers let me go. Uh, my agency never called me after that. And essentially I was done. And so when we go and do movies like this, you spend a great deal of time with agents, working with them. I didn't realize the connection though, to my industry and to Epstein Island and all of that, but obviously there is. And um, I couldn't sleep for two years after doing that movie, two years uh, in the middle of the night, uh, horrible nightmares. Um, you, something hard that happens to you in your life you can either um, fade away or turn and fight. And I've decided to fight back because those precious children are God and I give my life for God. I'm talking about the Jesus Christ God, okay? Um, this, the, the, uh, the QAnon stuff, um, uh, Jim's QAnon. Well, let's look into that because that could be really evil. Um, somewhere in Congress, they said QAnon is racist. Okay, well, we don't like that, right? But so is the Ku Klux Klan. And that's another letter, it's a K. We don't like the letter Q, we don't like the letter K, but they don't go after the letter K. And I started looking into Senator Byrd and, and he was a grand wizard. Hillary Clinton's tied to him and Joe Biden's tied to him. Now understand this is a Ku Klux Klan here. And, and there is a lot of data that can prove that the Ku Klux Klan is an evil organization. And so are the Nazis. One could say that they're also racist, but they don't go after those, only the QAnon. Now, if I, by way of analogy, but one if, I were, yep. if I were the apostle uh, Saul, and I'm a Pharisee. I'm going to go after the Christians. I'm going to take them down. Now, remove Christians and let's make it QAnon. I'm going to destroy them because the Romans told me they're evil. 
I'm going to destroy them because my own church staff, my Pharisee, fellow Pharisee said evil. I'm going to take him out. And then find, and then you find out it, it's not QAnon. It's Q and Anons. And Q puts out a question. And you're not allowed to ask questions anymore. Not allowed to. And the Anons, they look it all up. And, and they start looking and investigating this stuff. I never knew about them while I was doing this movie, Sound of Freedom. It has nothing to do with our film. But it's really interesting that they pointed to this immediately and said, that guy's one of them. He's bad. I'll tell you the rest after that. Right. Jim, we have to have you back soon. I'm sorry we're out of time. Angel.com slash Jim. Jim, thank you for your courage and your willingness to speak out. You are in the middle of the spiritual war. And we're praying for you and keep your spiritual disciplines on the top of your list because the enemy is not happy with what you're exposing.